So today we are looking at all the parts, all the buttons and all the physical features of your iPhone 14 Pro. Now most of the things I say here also apply to the regular iPhone 14, the 14 Plus and also the bigger brother to this one which is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Anyway, so starting at the front of course you have the display which is rather obvious and then you have slimmer bezels and the bezels are basically the gap between the edge of the phone where you have stainless steel and where the display starts so that's what you call the bezel and it goes all around the phone it basically protects the screen from when the phone falls or hits hard surfaces that OLED screen is protected now at the top here you have the pale cutout Apple calls it their dynamic island and that's what replaced the notch from the iPhone 13 going all the way back to the original iPhone 10. So inside this pill cutout is where you have the front facing camera. You have your sensors for face ID and other sensors. Everything that was in the notch is now housed in this pill cutout and Apple have adjusted the software so that it interacts with this pill and as you can see it gets bigger and smaller it can separate when you open some apps as you can see when you open an app like that it expands and when you open another one and you have two apps running in the background then the pill can also separate so it's a very interactive pill cutout very interestingly done by apple so it's a combination between the pill itself and software adjustments by Apple to make it look a little bit more interactive. So that's the pill cutout where all the sensors and front facing camera are held. So at the back of the phone, of course you have the glass back because iPhone has glass at the front and at the back with that Apple logo right in the middle as usual. And then you have this uh, hard to miss camera array. Now here you have three main cameras. This one is the telephoto camera. This one is the main wide camera. And then this one is the ultra wide camera. And then at the top there you have the flash. That's the camera flash for low light photography. And then down here you have something else. This little circle here, which some might miss. That is also a camera sort of. It's actually a scanner. So that is called the LiDAR scanner. LiDAR basically stands for light detection and ranging. It's basically a scanner that fires out infrared light and then uses that light to build a 3D picture of its surroundings. And that's very useful for the phone generally, especially when you want to project 3D animations. And also it uses that information working together with the rest of the cameras to get the best portrait mode photos and also just normal shallow depth of field photos when you're close to subjects. So this is a very important component of the camera system on your iPhone. So that's the front and the back. Now let's go to the sides, starting with the right hand side of the phone. Now for this one, there's only one button on the side, which is this button. And this button has a couple of uses. For 5G iPhones that are in US especially, you might see something else here, which is a 5G band, but for most of us, this area is completely clean, except for this side button, also called the power button. So for the most part, you'll be using this button to lock your screen and also prompt an unlock of the screen. So that's one use for the button. Also, if you press and hold that button, it's going to activate Siri, so you can use Siri. If you use that button in conjunction with volume up, if you press and hold, it brings up the power menu where you can switch off your phone. If you press and release this button plus the volume up button, it takes screenshots. So there are very many uses for this button. It's also the button you'd use to switch on your phone when it's off. Now, slightly above that button, you should see these uh, small lines and they are there on either side. And these are basically antenna bands on your iPhone to help with better connectivity. And then at the top, you have nothing but one more antenna band. 
and then you can go all the way to the left hand side of the phone so on the left hand side to start with you have this little button here now this is more of a switch than a button because you don't press it in the only way to use this button is to flick it down or up like that and this button basically enables and disables silent mode on your phone so as you can see when you flick it down it enables silent mode and you can tell it's in silent mode because of that little uh, orange accent in there to disable silent mode simply flick it up once again and it's going to notify you on that pill cutout whether you have silent mode enabled or disabled next to that is the volume rockers which is volume up and volume down but like i mentioned you can also use this volume rockers in conjunction with the side key to perform other functions on your iphone below the volume rockers is the sim tray now if you have an iphone 14 from anywhere else in the world besides the us then you will have a sim tray now this sim tray is where you put the sim card into your phone and to put or remove a sim card then all you need to do is pop out that sim card tray to pop it out you'll use a sim ejector tool there's one that comes in the box of your iPhone when you buy it, but you can use any SIM ejector tool. So what you need to do is simply put in the pin side of the SIM ejector tool and then push it perpendicularly towards the phone. And then you can put the SIM ejector tool away and pull out the SIM card tray. Now this SIM tray, depending on where you're buying your iPhone, can either hold one or two SIM cards. And these are physical nano sim cards in fact you can check out my video on how to insert sim cards where i'm actually inserting two physical dual sim cards into the iphone 14. anyway once you place your sim card you can slide it back in and then you can go into the software and manage the sim card or the sim cards now moving away from that you have more antenna bands right here and at the bottom of the phone, you have a microphone, you have the lightning port, which we hope will be type C soon. But for now, it's still the Apple lightning port. And then you have the downward facing speaker or the loudspeaker. Now, speaking of microphone, there's one more microphone I forgot to mention, which is at the back of the phone. And that is this little hole right here. So you can see this is a camera. And then you have that LiDAR scan I was talking about. And then you have this little hole right here. That is an extra microphone, which is at the back of your phone. So those are the main external physical features of your iPhone 14 Pro or any other iPhone 14 in the lineup. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. And good luck.